Welcome to the Carnival Elation. We're going to take a tour of this ship from the top down. It's one of Carnival's smallest ships. I was surprised how roomy and spacious this ship is. Let's go check it out, starting on deck 15. The top of the ship, you have a sun deck with a great view. Just down from deck 15 is mini golf and bocce ball. This is their sports deck, deck 14. And this also has a great view of the pool area, which is really nice. Next up is deck 12, and we're gonna start in the spa and fitness area. They have a great size salon and spa with multiple treatment rooms. You also find a sauna and steam rooms. And they have a large room for classes and a gym. You also find showers and a nice changing area and locker room. Also on deck 12, you'll find the Kids Club Camp Ocean and the entrance to the water slides and sun deck. All right, and we're gonna head down to deck 11, which is where you're gonna find all the water slides. And you'll also find another sun deck overlooking the pool and all the activities at the pool deck. And you'll find loungers all the way back to the smoking area which is covered and does have umbrellas and chairs. Inside deck 11 is the top level overlooking the atrium. And down to deck 10 is the pool deck.
Outside on the deck, on one side you have Red Frog Rum Bar and the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar. Alongside of the pool, you'll find chairs and tables that are shaded and protected from the wind. And a stage for the great music for sail away and parties and it's always a good time. And through these glass doors you'll find stairs to deck nine. And on this side of the pool deck, you'll find Guy's Burgers and Blue Iguana Cantina. And in between, a lot of times they have small bites of several things that you'll find at the buffet. Inside on deck 10 is the buffet, and you'll find a deli, a pizza place, and they do have a bar. Outside of the buffet on deck 10, you'll find an eating area where you can overlook Serenity and the wake of the back of the ship. Next up is Deck 9, which has a lot of things, starting with the Serenity Deck, which you can access from the stairs in the buffet, or you can take a hallway near the Alchemy Bar, and it is a strange way to get to the Serenity Deck, but if you go down these hallways, you won't miss it. There's really nowhere else to go, so you will run into it. There are two hot tubs on Serenity and a lot of loungers and there's also a covered area underneath in the shade with comfortable chair style seating. And they do have towel and drink service up here in Serenity. Inside on deck nine, you're gonna find Alchemy Bar, which is a strange little spot, but actually I was pleasantly surprised with the accommodations they have here. They have some really comfortable chairs and generally very quiet area to sit and visit.
And right in the alchemy bar, there are stairs down to the dining room, which is a little different. I do love this space with the large windows and the great chairs. And right from the alchemy, you're gonna be on the promenade on deck nine, and I really like this area. There's a ton of seating right by these large windows. And of course, you have the shops. You have the candy shop, and you have jewelry, and you also have the coffee shop. And of course, there's some nightlife fun. There's the comedy club and the dance club right here on deck nine. And you'll also find the Romeo and Juliet Lounge. And you'll find even more seating right next to the casino, which also has a bar. And at the end of this promenade is one of my favorite places, Banzai Sushi. There is a charge for this sushi, but it is delicious and I love it. At the end, you'll find the atrium. They also have the Teen Club and the Arcade on Deck 9. Next up is Deck 8. And this has the Piano Bar, and the library and several shops.
At the end, you'll find some more shops and the theater. And on deck eight, you'll find the two main dining rooms. All right, and down to deck seven, where you're gonna find the atrium bar, the internet cafe, shore excursions, and guest services. All right, next up, we're gonna take a look at an interior cabin. I thought this room was very spacious and very comfortable. They have a lot of storage and they even have USB plugs by the bed. And that concludes my tour of the Carnival Elation. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you soon.